Hello and welcome back to Free Sample. You may be wondering what happened to the second episode for July. Well, life happened. Uh, we'll leave it at that. But let's move on. This show is still under construction and changing and I would love additional feedback, but enough crap. Let's go on to the free games for the beginning of August. First up is Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, a proverbial cock tease of a game. That is the prologue to the highly anticipated Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Ground Zeroes provides the springboard for Phantom Pain's story, starting with Snake, a.k.a. Big Boss, a.k.a. Naked Snake, a.k.a. You, you, get the, you get the idea. Sneaking into a U.S. prison compound to extract certain key personnel who have been incarcerated there. A daunting task that will, eh, in all honesty, take you about an hour to do. My personal best time was in the neighborhood of 32 minutes. But I know what you're thinking. Only an hour? That seems sh short. But yes, but there's more. There are four side ops and two extra op missions that are unlocked when you find all the Zoff patches. Zoff? Zoff? None of them take particularly long, but the latter offers some interesting gameplay, particularly the mission Jamais Vu? Jamais Vu? This is why I took Spanish. Where you play as Raiden hunting body snatchers. Hmm. So let's get down to it. The gameplay is pretty polished. It feels like a nice merriment between the classic Metal Gear games and the latter titles such as Peace Walker and MGS4. That being said, it'll take some time to play around with the controls to learn all of your potential. Especially that stupid roll. Roll, damn it! The Fox Engine looks damn beautiful. Kiefer Sutherland is a decent alternative to the classic David Hayter for voicing Snake. Overall, it's a nice taste of what we can expect in about a month. I also have to admit, I am super biased towards the series. I really don't care if MGS4 was more movie than game. The Metal Gear series is one of my all-time favorite series. So I would say yes, download this title. However... I do realize this series isn't for everyone. So I'll say this, if you're a fan or have played other games in the series, yes, absolutely download it for free. However, if you're new to the series, you honestly would be better off not starting with this one and going back and seeing if you can play the others to see if you even like them to begin with. So that's Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Moving on to 360's first game of the month, you can download Metro 2033, what is considered to be a survival horror first-person shooter based on a novel by the same name. Humanity, or at least those in Russia, are forced underground in post-apocalyptic Moscow to live in the aging and crumbling Metro tunnels. You play as Artyom, a young man born before the bombs fell, who is tasked with getting help for the specific station he lives in from some rangers or something. I don't know. I, to be honest, the thick Russian accents make it difficult to understand. I also forgot to turn the subtitles on later. Anyway, the overall aesthetic is Fallout-esque, but it's if they put more colors into the overall game. Everything is pa has that patchwork feel, and there's some absolutely unnerving moments. Gameplay, though, feels a little clunky at times. So, Metro 2033, I feel conflicted. On one side, I'd say, yeah, totally download it. But there's, here's the one thing. Having played it on the PC, at least some of it, because for some reason my computer just doesn't want to play it anymore, it just feels better on the PC. Not to ignite a PC mess or race chant, but it honestly feels better on PC. Also, there's an updated version on the current gen systems that comes with the second game called Metro Redux. It's hard for me to give this a yes when there are other better ways to play it. If 360 is your only option, then yes. But if you're able to play Metro 2033 on current gen or PC, then do yourself a favor and play it there. It's a solid game, but so much better not on the 360. So there you have it. The first two games for the month. Two actually good titles, but the latter being better elsewhere. The second half of the month, we'll see how to survive and Metro Last Light. Until then, if you like the video or have any suggestions, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment below. Anyway, that's all for now. Peace.